Rook, just got word. First Warden's calling everyone back to Weishaupt. Everyone except us, seems like. Guess the First Warden holds a grudge. Calling Wardens back from all over Thetis is a big step. Did he give any reason why? Not exactly, but I've heard rumors of a massive Darkspawn horde on the move. Even hearing there's an Archdemon with them. The other Archdemons are dead. Only Razakale and Lusakon live. So which one is it? No one has a good look yet. Makes it hard to tell. Rook, if the gods have an Archdemon... Warden lore says Archdemons only show up during a blight. Doesn't say anything about elven gods. Seems like the rules have changed, and we're going in blind. We need to know what we're up against. I'll talk to Solas. See if he knows anything about any of this. Make sure the others are ready to move. I cannot do this, Algernon. You swore that we would give up our commands when this horrific war was over. Our people need our leadership. If you're unwilling, leave. Our people must rebuild, and we must help unite them. 
So, we did not fight for freedom, but to conquer this land and our own. We fought to win, and now the Evanuris are as gods. I do not answer to Mithal's annoying lapdog. The people are afraid. They must believe in something. They need strength. And wisdom. They need gods who can protect them. We are not gods. You will learn that. Every lapdog hides a wolf inside. That was strange. They were speaking Elvin, but I understood it. I believe we have experienced a memory in each of our native languages. Not just any memory. One of the Dread Wolves. And the mages who declared themselves my gods. Well, mine and Dapren's. Anyone see anything in that memory we can use? Elgrinon was hungry for power, did anything he could to get it, and to hold on to it. Then Solus, furious at Elgrinon's installing himself as a despot, started his rebellion. There's another moving part in this. Mithal. She was keeping the peace. Mithal and Solus were close. The Inquisition found a temple to Mithal, and there were wolf statues everywhere. Then she sides with Elgrinon over him, a betrayal. Sounded like Solus was loyal to Mithal. What did Elgernon call him? Mithal's lapdog? And then she grabs power alongside Elgernon instead of standing for her principles. I'd be angry too. Angry enough to start a rebellion? That's not how he'd see it. He didn't destroy the world. Elgernon did. Solus did what he considered necessary to stop him. Solus would try to justify what he did, but he'd also blame himself for what happened. Perhaps these murals aren't simply memories. They're what Solus wishes to forget. His regrets. That means they're a way to learn his weak points. Why are we worried about Solus? He's trapped. Right. But the Dread Wolf was the god of trickery. He's looking for a way out. Bet on it. Meanwhile, keep your eyes open in the crossroads. If there's a way to restore the rest of these murals, Solus would have kept it in his hideaway. It'd be nice to get inside his head for a change. How fares your battle? The gods are moving against Weishaupt and the Grey Wardens. We've heard rumors the Darkspawn are being led by an Archdemon. And you have questions? I need to know how Archdemons relate to the gods. Are they just like the Blighted Dragons, or are they something else? I also need to know how to deal with the gods if they show up at Weishaupt. I propose a bargain. I will answer your question if you answer mine. What? How are the Grey Wardens? Do they understand the truth of the danger yet? We've been through this already. You agreed to help me. What did you think my help would look like, Rook? I need to know that you are prepared. No. 
The First Warden still refuses to listen. As I feared. I tried diplomacy. I tried being firm. Nothing worked. When I asked why you should be trusted to lead the fight, you denied that you were even the leader. That sufficed for me. But the Grey Wardens believe in dedication and authority. They already see themselves as the perfect choice to fight the Darkspawn. You cannot defeat Elganan and Gilanane without the Wardens. What will you do to bring them to your side? I don't have to convince all of them. I just have to convince the First Warden. Or remove him. Enjoyable as that is to imagine, I doubt the rest of the Wardens would approve. Did you know the Evanurus once numbered many more than those whose names survive in the Elven Pantheon? One Warlord was particularly cruel. I sought to free his slaves, but so fearsome was his reputation that none would join me. What did you do? I made people laugh at him. How did that help? For twelve years. Every sound near him, from whispered pleas to shouted oaths to crackling fire, all became mocking laughter. His mind broke under the ridicule, and when he fell, his slaves rose up and joined me. I doubt laughter is going to work on the First Warden. If not that, then what? Whatever it takes. Easily said. But it will have to be enough for now. You have answered my question, and I owe you an answer in return. Yes. The old gods of Tevinter, the Archdemons. There never were Tevinter gods. The Archdemons, as you call them, were always merely the weapons of the Evanuris. All right. Let's hope we can find the gods before they find their weapons. Unfortunately, the Dragon Thrall's life force is bound to the Evanuris as both power and protection. You will not be able to kill or likely even harm one of the Evanuris until their Dragon Thrall is slain. The old stories of the Devinter gods have them whispering in the dreams of ancient magisters. How did they do that, if they were just tools of the elven gods? The Archdemons were once high dragons. The Evanuris bound them as a source of power. When I imprisoned the gods, their dragons remained free. That was my mistake. How so? I never bound a dragon to myself, for I believed that to enslave another creature was immoral. As such, I did not understand the power that connection gave. I thought the prison I had made was perfect. But their dragons were the conduit through which they spoke to dreaming minds. What can you tell me about the Archdemons themselves? Each is different, shaped by the whims and ego of its master. Elganan is the Lord of Tyranny. He would have ruled alone had Mithor not forced him to share power. Those who are strong, he molds into dictators themselves with visions of godhood. Those who are weak, he crushes. His Archdemon reflects him. It is huge to feed his ego. The epitome of dragonkind, bent to his will. Damn. Tell me what you really think of the guy. He is cruelty and arrogance personified. All of the Evanuris were flawed. But he made all of them worse. By contrast, Gilanane was a servant of Andrul, whose skill at making monsters earned her promotion to the Evanuris. She is brilliant, ambitious, and unconstrained by anything you would understand as morality. In a kinder world, you would never need to see what she has done to her archdemon. In this world, I only hope you kill it quickly. In any event, the Evanuris will not be vulnerable until their archdemons are dead. It says a lot about these talks that kill an archdemon is the easy part. 
It will not be easy. But you are this world's only hope. I would not suggest this path if I did not believe you could succeed. Aww, oh, the God of Lies believes in me. Even with their dragons dead, the Evanuris are powerful and well protected. You will need to use my dagger, the one you recovered. It can pierce their enchantments and strike them down. Alright. Kill the archdemons, then use the dagger to take down the gods. Even a single opportunity to strike the Evanuris down will be rare, fleeting, and costly. You will not have another chance to catch them unawares. When you strike, you must be fully prepared. <laughs>